Hello, I'm Titanman432, and uh, today I'm going to be playing more Mega Man Zero Two. In the last part, we finished the rest of the missions that El Paizo had for us, the new commander of Resistance Base. And uh, now we're going to have a mini history lesson on Seal's little computer here. About the Maverick Wars and Cyber Elves. The Maverick Wars were started by the Sigma Virus, which terrified the world. Eventually, the Maverick Wars turned into everyone misusing the power of the Cyber Elves. Thanks to X, the evil Cyber Elves have been deleted. No further info can be found. Okay, let's learn about... I actually accidentally hit Maverick Wars again. Okay, let's learn about Cyber Elves. The Cyber Elf is a program created to help humans and reploids. The Cyber Elf has its own will and can talk. However, once it's used, it dies. That gives me an idea, let's use some cyber elves to upgrade zero. Okay, well, um, to download and upgrade your elves, uh, you need to talk to Seal, ask about cyber elf twice, which I didn't figure out for a while, so I didn't know how to get cyber elves in this game. But, uh, it's pretty much the same as it was in the last game. You can feed your cyber elves feed your cyber elves, um, energy crystals to level them up, and then once they're fully leveled up, you can, uh, use them to upgrade zero, and some of them are already fully leveled up, but their power isn't as much as this one, you can use it to upgrade your maximum health. So just like that, we have more health, and the game would be easier than it was before. Um, you, you must be Zero. My name is Do Doijit. As Sarivu told me, you're so well designed that I can't believe you're an old type rep lord. I want to see your inside, so do you mind if I rip you apart? Ha ha ha, I'm kidding. No, really, I'm just kidding. Don't look at me like that. Uh, okay, a little weird there. Let's go to the command room and see what's going on. We are ready to open fire, sir. We're waiting for the signal, sir. Well, the time has come to launch a massive attack against New Arcadia. Or maybe it's best to say that it is time to destroy it once and for all. I'm happy to announce that we are commencing this Operation Righteous Strike. This has been a team effort, but I would especially like to thank the efforts of Zero. Now, ladies and gentlemen, begin. Wait. What is it, Miss Seal? Is this necessary? Do we really have to do this? If we conduct an all-out attack, the casualties will be so high. I'm afraid that's the price we must pay for our future. It's sad. Seal's research will be completed soon. Once the substitute energy has been developed, Neo Arcadia loses its reason to crack down on us. Will you give us a little more time? That. Well, that's nothing but a sweet illusion. If a substitute energy is developed and we give it to them for free, I don't think Neo Arcadia will show mercy to us. But, but, but. Silence! I apologize for my orders, Miss Seal, but you must follow them. I am so worried about you Reploids. All the, about Miss Seal, and about the Resistance soldiers. I just want what is best for you all. All troops, open fire! Engage! All troops, open fire now! Roger. I'm going to the front line to give commands. Transfer me. Preparing to transfer. Don't worry, we can work this out later. And when this is all over, I would like to transfer commencing. Okay, so he just left. Mid sentence, of course. Zero, will you follow Commander Alpizo? I've got a very bad feeling. 
So if you say no, they'll just keep asking you to do it, or to follow him, so you have to say yes eventually. It's the sweet illusion of choice. That doesn't exist. But anyway, we have to follow Commander El Paizo into New Arcadia. And when we get there, it turns out that it was a complete massacre. And pretty much all of the Resistance soldiers, as you can see, are dead. So yeah, El Paizo's plan didn't quite work out in the end. But, um, for this level, it's, it's uh, pretty easy, I think. Uh, you have some of these little blocks here that you can move with the chain rod to grab a few cyber elves. So you drag this over, drag it further over, then from here you can pull that other block up there down and get the cyber elf that's up there. Uh, there's, there's a few of those in this level, the blocks that you can move around. So, um, yeah, you have to know how to use the chain rod if you want to get the cyber elf. I'm not really sure the purpose of that one. It might be to help getting across the uh, spikes, the spikes there, but I don't, I don't really see how that could work. But in this area, you got some little energy crystals and crabs and those enemies with the electric stubs in their arms. More crab things. But it's not that long of a level uh, or that hard. If you can just dash jump over things, then you should be good to go with the spikes. That's pretty much the only challenge in this level. Uh, if you if you dragged this block over here, then you would find that the um, not Mega Man reploids or robots would. Uh, come back on top of the block. I don't really know the other purpose of the block though, so I'm just gonna have to leave it there. Because there's nothing up here. But then you just see them spawning on top of there. It's kind of weird. So you jump across these pits, barely make it there, and that's probably the hardest part of the level. So if you can get past that, then you're good to go. So now ride the boss, um, kind of like a boss rush thing. It's a whole bunch of golems, those things with the weird faces that were in Mega Man Zero One in the intro level. And there was the ice one that will come up in a minute from the polar bear stage, the polar bear stage. Uh, but they're pretty easy, same strategy that you use in the regular stage that they appear in. But then there's this fire one that I haven't found anywhere else in the game. But again, it's pretty easy to beat when you have the electricity and fully charged shot. So we'll make this ring of fire that you can jump through easily. And then we'll also shoot fire on the floor. But it's easy to dodge. So you just keep going. And then you have the ice one, which was in the polar bear stage, like I said. And it is the final golem that you have to fight in this stage. So yeah, nothing really new in this stage. Uh, it's really easy to defeat when you have the... Doing the charge shot, or the charge saber with the weakness is really overpowered. And we defeated it, and let's go right to the results screen. And I got an 87 points. That's a C. But I'm okay with that, I guess. Let's continue and see what's going on in here. Oh, it's the three guardians. Why are you so late, Zero? I was so bored that we had to retire all the rest of the soldiers to pass the time. All that remains is only this inferior ex Neo Arcadia citizen. Zero, I've been waiting for you too long. They were too weak to have fun with. I've wanted to face you. Why don't we have fun together? Stop. What? Huh? Did you come to rescue this Rep Lord Zero? Yeah. Why do you even bother? If you help him, he won't thank you. And if he lives, even more resistant soldiers are going to die. 
I'll save this Reploid, and I won't let any more Resistance soldiers die. How greedy, but can you really do that by yourself? Emergency call for Zero. An unidentified object is rapidly flying toward the Resistance base. Return to base immediately. Ooh, can you hear it? A bombardment aircraft is heading for your base with a special bomb. Using bombs is not my style, but all is fair in love and war. Your resistance forces have made a mistake that can't be forgiven. Neo Arcadia, or should I say, human society, is not a thing that re reploids can rebel against. If they do, they should be exterminated. Operator, transfer us back to base. Roger, transfer commencing. Zero. I don't think that justice is destroying resistance forces, but as long as they try to disobey humans, destroying them is my goal. Okay. We have injured. Bring the emergency squad. Transfer in progress. Two. What one? Transfer complete. Stand by alert. The huge enemy aircraft aircraft is approaching. Estimated time of arrival is ten minutes. We'll take care of it. Ready to shuttle. Roger. Zero is going to intercept it. Prepare an aircraft for launch. I'm coming with you, Zero. What? I heard it's carrying a special bomb. I don't think you can just destroy it. You have to neutralize it before you can destroy it. No, it's too dangerous. Zero, you can act brave, but you shouldn't be reckless. You know we have no other choice. Use a portable transfer. I'll let you know when. Uh, no. Um, I'm not gonna save anything. No, we can't approach any further, or we'll appear on the radar. Zero, once you reach the enemy aircraft, please let me know by activating a portable transfer. Okay. I always found this scene really cool. He's jumping through clouds into dark clouds onto, a, onto another plane from a plane. Like, how do you get cooler than that? If you're on a motorcycle? I don't know, I'd like, I would like to see that stunt though. But anyway, in this stage, you're just jumping from aircraft to aircraft, which can be pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing and you're trying to rush straight ahead. Because if you try to jump off of this one, uh, I don't really remember if there's another one behind there, but I've died a lot at the, on this plane or the last one because uh, you have to wait a few seconds before the next plane appears. But anyway, once you're through there, you got these this little mini boss here, Ladybug plane, airplane, I don't know. But it doesn't really have that much health. You just go to the side when it's dropping those bombs and just watch out for those missiles when it's shooting the missiles. It's like pretty much all video games, but um, now you just keep continuing forward. You got some not Mega Man's. Just climb down this ladder, some crystals. And then you got this little gimmick here where if you shoot the little switch there, then those lasers will turn off temporarily. And if you hit it with electricity, charge shot, then it'll stay frozen for a few, for a second, and gives you an extra few seconds to get to the other side over here. And I failed, but I still got through somehow. And you can get the well, the it, they're called zero panels. I learned from the Mega Man Zero collection, but um, one up. Oh, you got another golem in there. Down in two... Two charged saber... Shots. Hits. Whatever. Then you got this cyber elf here. I... Don't remember what this one was. I think it might be a sub-tank elf. But you just fall through there. Grab the health. Keep going. And you got another one of these areas. Uh, there's not really much point in trying to electrocute it because um, it just takes waste, waste more of your time trying to get to the other side. And then if you don't if you don't quite make it, then you're probably going to take a lot of damage or get stuck where you can't hit the laser thing. 
which is bad. But we're at the end of the stage now. And I set the transfer of coordinates. Transfer of seal here. I'll quickly release the bomb. The device is it's here. I need 90 seconds to release the fumes. Please, provide cover for me. Okay, this is probably one of the harder parts. You have to protect seal. Uh, the best strategy would be to use the uh, either a race form, which I haven't unlocked. I don't even know if I've talked about forms in this game yet. But um, you should probably just use the shield boomerang. But you have to not hold on to it because if you let go, then you'll uh, throw it if you charge it for a second too long. Which could be a good thing, but not in this mission. Uh, because if Seal gets hit, I think you lose 10 mission points. Which is quite a lot. But using the Shield Boomerang is a pretty effective strategy. And it keeps most of the enemies away. And then just uh, using the Saber every now and then. Both to kill the little green crawly guys and to... Uh, we start the charge for the shield boomerang because, like I said earlier, you'll be th you'll throw it and then you won't be able to do anything for about for about a second, which is very valuable time. And speaking of valuable time, I'll just be quiet for the rest of the 30 seconds that we have for this mission. So, uh, to save my voice, obviously. Okay, so they finally got the fuse released, and now we just have to kill the rest of the enemies. We got him. Now let's transfer back. Zeal, you go ahead. Alright, you follow me quickly. I I'm gonna bet 10 to 1 that we're not gonna be able to transfer back. It's an emergency, Zero. Due to air turbulence, the transfer won't work. Huh, called it. I mean, I've played this game before, but that's what I thought the first time I played. Oh well, uh, let's escape. Go back through here. Go back through the door that we saw when we were coming through here. Destroy all of these crates here. Watch out for the little guy with the chain mace. We fill our sub tank. Keep destroying more crates and uh, grab that cyber off up there. Yeah, there we go. Now we can head back and actually escape now. Get rid of the mace guy. Climb down ladder. Get rid of another mace guy. Store more crates. This last part of the level isn't too hard. So we just keep going, destroying more crates, and jump out of the airplane. Now, uh, just in case you're wondering, it is not safe to jump out of an airplane without a parachute, but this is a Mega Man video game, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, you can tell by the music we got a boss coming up, and he looks kind of familiar. Don't expect you can go back easily, Zero. I know you've released a bomb. However, we can still continue the mission if I can crash the aircraft into your base. I'm Quaggus Ankus. We will become a flaming arrow and crash into your base. Dun dun dun. Okay, I think he looks a little bit familiar. I don't know about you. But anyway, his attack pattern. Uh, most of his attacks, he just tries to grab you. So when he does that little wind wind tunnel thing, don't let him grab you or else he'll like, choke you or something. And then he dashes at you. He is also trying to grab you at the same time. He also has these little arrows that he shoots at you from his long arms. But, um... As long as you don't get stuck to, stuck sucked into his little wind thing, you should be fine. Anyway, he says, Brother, I'm sorry that I failed to avenge you. And, uh, his brother was actually from Mega Man Zero One. But, uh, we'll see that in the boss rush. Um, spoilers. But, uh, yeah. 
So when we get there, you'll, you'll remember. Or if you watch my other videos. Anyway, the erase form has become available. That means that if we use that form, we can block bullets. Zero. Seal. Thanks for intercepting the aircraft. Where's Commander Alpizo? Commander Alpizo was assigned Seal as the acting commander and took to the field. His current location is unknown. I'll play the message he left behind. Listen. Miss Seal, our operation has failed. You can blame my foolishness. <laughs> I'm such a fool. I was an errand boy near Arcadia, but when I came here, they assigned me as commander, and I failed everyone. I was such a fool. This is all because I didn't have the power. I want to be strong. I want to be all-powerful. I want to be the most powerful Reploid ever. I'll destroy New Arcadia and all the humans. Then, then I'll be a true hero. We may be able to track down the history of the trans server that Alpazo used. Here they are. The commander must be in one of these locations. Will you follow, locate, and bring the commander back? We must. We must help El Paizo. Alright, so that is all the time I have today. In the next part, we'll take on the next missions trying to find El Paizo, but until then, um, I'll try out the erase form. This is what it looks like. We also have the rise form, but I haven't used it. So it does that. You can only do one slash, but you can erase bullets. And that's all for today. So, uh, peace and sheep. <laughs>